You probably already know uh, Coulomb's law to uh, calculate the magnitude of a force that's acting between two charged particles Q1 and Q2. You basically take the uh, electrostatic constant and you multiply it by the absolute charges Q1 and Q2 and you divide it by the distance squared and then you have basically to use the raw uh, plus and uh, plus repels, negative and negative repels and if you have different charges they actually attract so this one would repel, 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 attract and attract but now the question is uh, how can we change this formula so it gives us directly a vector equation for direction of the force so what we want is if we have a particle Q1 somewhere in space and the particle Q2 somewhere else we want to get the vector of the force of 2 on 1 so our new law should read F2 on 1 is equal to something well the magnitude will still depend on the electrostatic constant and will become smaller if the distance becomes bigger before uh, we had the absolute values of uh, the charges and then we used uh, the rule that the different charges attract and the same charges repel to find out the direction. We can do this directly if uh, we just multiply it by the charges. What now will happen is that whenever we have the same charges, plus plus or negative negative, uh, the whole term becomes plus and if we have different charges, one of them plus, one negative, the whole thing becomes negative so we get the direction directly out of it but which is the main direction in space we can use is the vector r from 2 to 1 we multiply the whole thing with that vector and we divide it actually again by the magnitude of that vector so we actually get a unit vector in the direction along the axis from Q2 to Q1. And that's it. That is our Coulomb's law as a vector equation.